Good morning. Today, I get to go to the dentist. I have a little problem in one of my teeth back here. It's starting to hurt real bad, so it's time for me to go to the dentist. I haven't been in a very long time because I don't like the dentist. I hate to tell all you dentists out there, but I hate all of you just because I don't like people playing with my teeth. It doesn't hurt all the time, but I do know that I have had some like fillings and stuff that I had to do uh, with my teeth, and so it, it doesn't feel great first thing in the morning after I brush my teeth. Like I'm about to brush them again just before we go and it, it doesn't it doesn't feel good. I'm gonna see if there's anything that, well, obviously I would need to do better or if there's anything that they can even do to try and help me out because it does come to a point where it's like, okay, that I can't chew on a lot of things because it hurts or it's a very numbing feeling. I can't really talk right. It's, it's not good. So we're, we're gonna take a look at them today. I'm back home. I don't know if my face is still swollen over here. It doesn't really look like it is, but I can tell you right now, it's still numb as hell. I had a numbing agent and they put the goddamn, um, oh, what the hell you call it, the nitrous. They put the nitrous on my nose so that way I could sit there and just not feel anything. And holy crap, like I knew what was going on, but I could still kind of feel a little bit and it wasn't really comfortable, especially getting that thing poked in my freaking gum. It wasn't good. Anyway, I have two teeth over here that are messed up enough to where I need to get something done ASAP. Um, they don't recommend me getting my teeth pulled. Funny enough, it was actually a dentist that I went to whenever I was younger, but I didn't recognize him at first because it's been too long. So he told me that he wanted to save my teeth because he says that I've always had really good looking teeth, even whenever I went in there as a kid. And so he said he doesn't want to, you know, pull them or make a mess of them or just put fillings in and then within two to three years I'm back doing the same thing again. Now if you guys don't know veneers are that little thing that uh it, in a TikTok trend everybody was shaving off their uh teeth so that way they could go and get a whole bunch of veneers put in so that way they could have perfect teeth. That's what I'm gonna get but they still need to be maintained and taken care of. I can't just throw them in and be like hey I got teeth again but Ah, uh, I all oh, this back here is so numb. It is so unbelievably numb. It's crazy. Veneer way would be the good way. I was given an opportunity to do it with some help. So looks like I'm getting veneers. I'm getting some fake teeth, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Today, I have to go to the dentist. I went to the dentist already because I need to tell him about some teeth. And now I need to go get some fake teeth put in. And I'm a little nervous about it because I have no idea how the process is gonna go. I don't know if it just like clicks on there or like if they use paste or whatever, I don't know. But uh, that's what that's what I'm about to do this morning. I'm about to go check on my grandma and see if she's starting to get ready because she's gonna go with me. And then we're gonna get going. All right, so before I get going, I need to at least get my teeth brushed because, well, the, I can't go in there with dirty ass teeth. I definitely want to make sure that they're brushed today because, well, I, I need I need to get some new teeth. Like, it's it's been a long time coming. Unfortunately, I didn't take care of my teeth as well as I had whenever I was younger, and so this is, this is what's going to happen. It kind of freaks me out in a way because, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, I, I don't like the dentist. Don't get me wrong, I understand the dentist is there to help everybody out, but the dentist like poking and prodding into my mouth like the day that I went in there to tell them about this and they were giving us all the paperwork to go ahead and get started with the whole uh, veneer thing. I was very nervous and so whenever I first got in there, I told them put the laughing gas on me or wh whatever that nitrous bullshit is and now I gotta go back again to get whatever bullshit taped onto my teeth or I, I don't know maybe they're using Elmer's glue or some shit like the Elmer's glue stick and I gotta I, I gotta deal with it again I'm gonna work on going more but just know that I hate every dentist like you guys do wonderful things for people but just not for me <laughs> I gotta go Bubba Gotta get to the dentist and fix my teeth. I love you. Oh, I love you.
they got it in. Here's what that tube would normally look like. That's what it looks like now. I might have made a mistake because I started eating crackers and chips, but I've been chewing on this side, not this side. But I just, I don't know how it's gonna work with the teeth. I'm, I'm so afraid like something is going to fall apart. I'm not trying to have anything fall apart. I'm just so afraid of something happening. But the process, dude, it, it was it was rough. Like he had to go in there and then he was blowing air on my teeth and oh God, it hurt so bad because, well, my teeth are sensitive to basically everything. Like air was sensitive to them, sweet stuff was sensitive to them, it all sucked. And so he, blew air on it and I was like oh my god that freaking hurts he it put the veneer on and he had to file the veneer down and he was all the way up at the gums and I'm like oh my god this hurts and then they were sticking the goddamn thing the the, the uh, what, what do you call it? that little mirror thing it's on a little stick they stick it in there yeah they were trying to keep my tongue down because it's hard for me to keep my tongue down while they're doing the procedure and then they kept shoving it down my throat I'm like oh, ah. it's they're on, it's the very far back one, and then that, and then this one, and I'm touching it. And it still feels really weird because it's like, it's a fake portion of teeth or of the tooth. And I don't, it's, it's weird to really explain it because it's like, it's my tooth, but it's not because it was molded for my teeth, but it's, it, it's not, it, it's prosthetic. A little check-in. As you could tell, I'm kind of groggy looking. That's because I fell asleep for a little while. And my teeth were kind of bothering me earlier, but I had me a, a little milkshake. Just milk and ice cream. And it, it kind of helped a little bit. But, like, dude, I don't know what the hell was going on, but it was hurting pretty damn bad. Probably because the dude was digging into my gums and trying to do whatever and yeah it just it didn't feel good but it's it's starting to feel better now i can't even tell there used to be a blue mark on this first one but i can't see it because it's it, it's far away i i've been chewing more with this side with uh, other foods and so far it's been okay but now since i left this side mostly alone last night like i don't know exactly if maybe it was fitting on there properly maybe whenever i close my my mouth Maybe it fits on there better. For context, I don't really know if my teeth have really been biting down properly since I haven't been to the dentist and I haven't had any checkups. But I do know that they are starting to like feel a lot better, especially today whenever I'm doing this voiceover. But that's what I was referring to in this clip. It, it feels much better today and it feels much more flush with my face. So today I'm gonna try to eat regular food on this side. And we're going to see how well those teeth do. And then there's the one that's all the way back here. Anyway, let's let's give it a try. Let's see, what am I going to eat? I think I'm gonna have me some Hot Pockets or a Hot Pocket. Come on, open up. By the way, I don't know if you've ever had these before, but they're pretty damn good. Open up, stupid box. All right, give, give me the hot pocket. Yes, hot pocket. Give me the delicious hot pocket goodness. Get it out of there. Oh, come on you, stupid plastic. One thing I do like about hot pockets, I don't, I don't know, okay, wait, what does it say right here? It says, load it, unwrap sandwich, load into the crisping sleeve and cook based on carton instructions. Let's sit for two minutes, peel away. Okay, yeah, see, that's what I'm supposed to do. I just like having this thing because the, the hot pocket gets really hot. And I, I know that's the whole purpose of it, but it's too hot for my br brittle little hands. And my hands start to hurt real bad b because of it. And I don't like it. So I, I, li I like having the whole thing. And I also got like a great value version of this before. And they don't have this sleeve on there. And that's stupid. So great value. You did a horrible job. All right, let's pop this bad boy in there. Let's do two and a half minutes. Let's see what that does. All right, it's ready. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it splooged a little in the microwave. Oh my God, and it's really hot. Ah, 
Oh my god. Ah! We got the hot pocket. It's not as hot of a pocket now. Now it's a mildly hot pocket that's starting to get lukewarm. Will the veneer hold up if I eat a hot pocket on it? I hadn't wanted to eat like anything too soft or too crunchy yet, so it, I don't know about that, but we'll see with regular food. Let's try it. I was really gentle with it. Seems okay. Uh, everything still seems attached, so. So far, so good. They feel okay. I think they actually help my teeth. I'm, I'm not trying to overdo it because, well, if I overdo it, then I have to go back and I gotta get new ones put on, <laughs> which would suck ass. But it is at least nice to know that I didn't feel any pain. I think that that actually helped me out. Those two teeth were really bad. First time brushing with veneers on. My other teeth need cleaning real bad, but uh, brushing with veneers is different. It didn't hurt, I'm surprised. And now it's Betty Bye time. So I gotta get up early in the morning for work. But we'll see you back in a week. All right, it's been a week and the veneers are holding in really good. It's really weird because over here, I still think this one isn't really like set the right way or it's a little too long or whatever it is. Uh, I, I don't know exactly, but I, I'm starting to get used to it. I, I think that the veneers have actually been a lot more good than they have been bad. Um, I, I think just adjusting to them was really the only bad thing that I had to do. Now that I have adjusted to them, I would like to try some chips. And the reason why I want to try some chips is because that I got a salsa that I had really wanted to try a while ago, but because of my teeth, I couldn't try right away. And that is peach and pineapple chipotle salsa. Now, I've been really curious on trying it and I figured, well, now that I have new teeth, maybe it won't be so bad to try it and, and get some salsa. That is a crazy smell. Wait, wait, hang on. It's like they just took a giant ass peach shoved it into the jar and then just put a little bit of salsa around it like it just smells like a straight up peach holy shit well i can't taste pineapple i can taste salsa but it's mostly just peach salsa hang on let, let, let me let me get a bigger chip so i can really enjoy the experience Wow, I don't know how to feel about that salsa. We'll do six out of 10. But anyway, I wanted to try it just because I didn't know exactly if, you know, if it was going to bother my teeth. So I waited a little bit and I figured since I was doing this whole seven day thing and since it's been seven days, I would try it. So thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate you guys watching the videos. Comment down below how you feel about the videos. Do you like these vlogs? Do you not like these vlogs? I may ignore the comments, but no, I'm kidding. Just let me know. Let me know how you guys feel about them because I enjoy making them. And if you guys enjoy them, then I still do want to make videos like this. And I figured it would be a lot better to make videos like this than just watch everybody else's stuff. So I appreciate you. And yeah, if you need to get some veneers, I would definitely recommend it because it has also been nice to eat some sweet stuff and it doesn't really hurt. However, do not do the TikTok challenge where kids were messing up their teeth on purpose to get veneers. That's stupid. Don't do that. Do not do that. Or I will find you and I will call you a piece of shit dumbass. Yeah. <laughs>